You really need cabinet members who would be able to balance the, uh, the situation in the Philippines that you have to deal with devolved institutions like healthcare and even mm -hmm. agriculture, that you cannot have a member of the cabinet who will be playing too much politics. It's very difficult if a member of the cabinet would not make difficult decisions. And it will be very difficult if that member of the members of the cabinet will, will deflect decision making to the president. It's the, uh, the box stops before that the executive, the, the, before the member of the cabinet. So if we're talking about the health portfolio, defense, agriculture, and even all the other cabinet positions with the banning um, being lifted the next week, there are pros and cons. Some of the former candidates who were not lucky enough to get positions are actually um, uh, qualified enough to lead certain portfolios in cabinet. But um, when you step into that executive position, there are always difficult decisions to make. No decision will be perfect. Uh, the, the president needs cabinet people, even in agriculture, who will make decisions that will not be geared towards pleasing the farmers only or pleasing the people only or making up just a good perception. He has to have cabinet members who can walk the talk.